tree surgeon in Perth. Uh, in this very quick video, we're going to go through uh, a few things about tree surgeons in Perth. Firstly, avoiding scammers. Uh, not everyone is who they say they are, especially in the tree game. Uh, it's very unregulated. You don't need licenses to operate, uh, but that doesn't mean that you should get uh, any old cowboy with a chainsaw. You could, you could land in uh, a bit of hot water. Um, next, how to find the best deal. Not uh, all qualified uh, arborists charge the same price. Everyone has a, a different idea on how they want to run their business. Uh, look, some advertise a lot more and charge a lot more. Uh, others are, are fairly small companies and you can get quite a big deal. Uh, sorry, quite a good deal. And lastly, the top picks um, as voted by users and we'll, we'll get into that. So first up, avoiding the scammers. The biggest scammers you're going to get are door knockers. Um, they'll come to your door. They'll, uh, you know, preach to you that they that they're awesome. They've just done, you know, x amount of jobs in the area. Uh, avoid them at all costs. Uh, the reason they're at the, your door is that they're not qualified. They they haven't got insurances. Uh, and if they were to injure themselves on your property. Uh, you could be in all sorts of trouble. Most of the time, uh, you'll find they'll take on jobs that they really can't handle. Uh, they'll do damage. There's been you know, horror stories of trees falling on houses and they just pack up and walk away. And uh, you don't know their name. You don't, you don't have a business uh, card. You don't have a phone number. So all you tell the police is someone just turned up and cut a tree into your house and, and you're left with the bill. So it is important that uh, you make sure whenever you hire a, a tree surgeon that they do have a certificate in arboriculture, so they are a qualified arborist, uh, and that they have the relevant insurance. Uh, at the very least, you want to make sure that they have public liability insurance, uh, and they should present that to you when they give you a quote, uh, and that'll be for it should be for a minimum of ten million dollars, and that that covers you if you know anyone uh, was to damage your property. Uh, or be or be hurt on site. Uh, next up, um, how to find the best deals. So you could go to Google uh, and you could search for tree surgeons in Perth, uh, and you'll get a, a list of guys and just pick one of them. Uh, you could also go to your low pages. Uh, the issue is uh, a little bit the same as the, uh, the door knockers. Uh, not everyone on here is insured. Not everyone is legit. But generally, the biggest issue is when trying to find uh, a good deal. Uh, everyone's trying to find a decent deal when they're when they're getting a tradesman out. Uh, especially with the economy is at the moment, everything's uh, double the price. Um, you'll find a lot of the people uh, or a lot of the businesses that you find first. So they first pop up in Google or they are the, the ones at the top in yellow pages. They're paying a lot of money to occupy those premium positions online. So you'll find when they come to price your job, they have to pass those costs along. So if you're just picking the first three on the list, you're most probably picking the most expensive ones. Not always. Look, I don't want to, um, you know, be ragging out on you know companies that are well priced and they just you know they're able to churn through the work what it, whatever it is but uh, i just want to let you know that there are um, some superstars out there there they might not be at the the top of the listings but they really are uh, great contractors and worth a second look so um let me get into the my personal picks and how to find uh the best uh contractors so this video was made by uh, me, Ben, from uh, GoTree Quotes. What we are is a free service, and we specialize in uh, matching or connecting homeowners with the best price local tree surgeons or arborists. Uh, now, how it works is uh, we've got a lot of uh, tree contractors that uh, want to receive job leads from us, but we are very picky in who we send uh, job quote requests too. So uh, what you do is uh, anywhere on uh, one of our pages is, is just find this orange button and once you click on that you'll go to a, uh, a form to fill out a couple of details about the job just whether it's removal or prune, whether you need an arborist report, approximate size, your suburb and a bit of a description. Uh, once you send that off to us we forward that on to the three closest contractors that have been voted by previous users as best priced and uh, have, having the best quality of service. So the, the problem is to um, prices of contractors do fluctuate 
depending on how much work they have on. So someone who was uh, well priced a month ago uh, might have a lot of work on and at the moment they're, they're handing out fairly expensive quotes just because they really don't need the work. Um, you know, they don't want to be booked out three, four months in advance. It, it just kind of doesn't work in this game. Everyone wants their tree job done yesterday. So what you need is uh, someone who is cheap now. Uh, and that's where our customer voting comes in. Uh, so for example, you'd fill out this form, you'd send it off uh, to us, would forward it on to the clo closest three guys that have been currently voted as best price. Uh, and then once they've done uh, giving you a quote, we'll come back to you in a week and ask who was the best price, who was the most professional, who you went with and why. Um, obviously there's no obligation uh, to continue. Not everyone is, is ready to pull the trigger now. And you know, look, some people aren't happy with the, the quotes and want to keep looking. That is also fine. Uh, but if you are after the best deal, uh, we do suggest you go to gotreequotes.com.au. So thanks for watching guys. I hope this helps. Uh, any questions, feel free to leave it in the box below and best of luck with your tree job.